Hello people and welcome to Shifting Gears. Right now I am riding the BMW Motorrad G310R. This is the BS6 updated motorcycle. BMW Motorrad ne is motorcycle ki kimat kafi kam kar di hai. More than 50,000 when the bike was launched and the ex showroom price tag right now for this particular motorcycle is 2.5 lakh rupees. So, BMW Motorrad has managed not just to reduce the price but also offer more modern features with this naked roadster motorcycle. BMW Motorrad ki ye Indian market mein sabse sasti motorcycle hai. This is the entry ticket to the world of BMW Motorrad here in the Indian market. इस वीडियो में हम बात करने वाले हैं ओनली अबाउट दी इंजिन दी राइड एंड हैंडलिंग एंड दी परफॉर्मेंस इफ यू वांट टू नो अबाउट द डिजाइन द फीचर्स एंड दी ओवरऑल कंफर्ट एंड आल्सो इफ यू वांट टू लिसन टू दी एग्जॉस्ट नोट देयर इज अनदर वीडियो व्हिच यू कैन चेक इट आउट इट हैज ऑलरेडी बीन अपलोडेड सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट स्पेसिफिकेशंस नाउ इस बाइक के साथ आपको एक 313 सीसी रिवर्स इंक्लाइंड 180 डिग्री रोटेटेड लिक्विड कूल्ड फोर स्ट्रोक फ्यूल इंजेक्टेड मोटर मिल जाता है This engine produces 34 hp of power and 28 newton meters of torque. With the BS6 update, आपको इस मोटरसाइकिल के 6 स्पीड गियर बॉक्स के साथ एक स्लिपर असिस्ट क्लच भी मिल जाता है. And also, this bike now comes with ride by wire technology. So that is a big enough update along with a significant drop in price. BMW claims that this motorcycle can achieve a top whack of 143 kilometers per hour. there is very good engine braking as well so if you want to slow it down and if you want to bring it back in your control it is going to be easy i did not touch the brakes at all i did not tap the clutch at all this was all 100% engine braking so guys definitely it meets bmw motorrad's claim of top speed maybe speedometer cluster pe thoda bahut speedo error ho sakta hai Talking about mileage, BMW Motorrad claims that this bike will sip 3.3 liters for 100 kilometers. And check it out on the speedometer cluster. I have been sipping 3.2 liters of petrol for 100 kilometers. So the mileage claim is also quite accurate. Now let's talk about the biggest problem that this bike faced, and that was vibrations. Of the BS6 update, ke saath. Both the companies have worked on the internals to make the bike smoother, and they have, you know, succeeded a fair bit because it isn't as buzzy as it used to be. But when you start the bike, you will notice that at idle, you will notice that at idle, it doesn't really sound very calm. It does sound very mechanical and very busy and a little harsh if you ride it really hard as well. ऑल्सो अगर वाइब्रेशन की बात कर ही रहे हैं वेन यू स्टार्ट राइडिंग दिस बाइक ओवर फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड आर पी एम यू विल स्टार्ट फीलिंग सम अमाउंट ऑफ बर्ज ऑन दी पैग्स एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू आर ग्रैबिंग द फ्यूल टैंक आपको फ्यूल टैंक पे भी माइल्ड बर्ज जो है वो यकीन महसूस होने वाला है देर इज नो डिनाइंग दैट फैक्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी द आइडियल रेव रेंज फॉर टूरिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बाई दिस बाइक फॉर योर टूरिंग रिक्वायरमेंट्स You can stay somewhere between 4,000 to 6,000 RPM. There is going to be enough grunt in that rev range, and at 95 kilometers per hour, the engine RPM is going to be close to 6,000 or exactly at 6,000. So, 95 to 100 kilometers per hour is going to be easy for this bike to do it all day long. But there are vibrations and there is buzz, and you just have to live with it. इसके बाद बात कर लेते हैं इस मोटरसाइकल के एक्सोस्ट नोट के बारे में. The exhaust has not been touched at all in the looks department. It looks very much the same, just like it used to from day one that the motorcycle was launched. And when you are riding this bike, there is not too much of an exhaust sound that you can hear. Of course, when you ring the throttle, there is a nice raspy tone that you can listen to. But it is not so much that people will like this. Of course, if you have all the money in the world, you can buy an Akrapovich exhaust. end can for this bike and then with that akrapovich end can if you like loud music you will like the sound profile of this particular motorcycle now let me talk about the best thing about this motorcycle and that is the ride quality suspension setup is so brilliant ki ye indian roads ko kafi acche se absorb kar leta hai 
you will not feel too many jerks at all it is a right mix of sporty yet very very comfortable mere paas personally ktm ki 390 adventure hai that is my personal motorcycle and even with long travel suspension and all of that that bike has really harsh ride quality that suspension setup is really really stiff in that comparison this bmw motorrad g310r although it is a roadster motorcycle it is just so comfortable and you can really throw it around over bad roads and you will really really like it the suspension setup is going to be very comfortable even agar aap ek pillion ke sath ye bike chala loge so ride quality bmw motorrad has nailed it and i have been completely completely impressed also is bike ki jo seat hai it is very nice and cushiony it supports your bottom very nicely my butt is very happy on this seat right now i have spent more than 2 and a half hours already and the stock seat saddle height is 785 mm agar aap thode short ho to aap low seat height option kharid sakte ho which will lower the seat height to 770 mm and if you are taller you can buy the tall seat height option which will raise the saddle height to 800 mm so that is up to you talking about ergonomics ye bike kafi comfortable hai i am sitting nice and upright i can do this all day long i can definitely do long distance cruising and touring effortlessly say for example agar main mumbai to goa ride kar raha hu on this bike i am not going to feel too tired because a the suspension is just fantastic and the ergonomics are so nice and upright and so easy that it is no problem at all abhi aapko is bike ke sath adjustable clutch aur brake levers bhi mil jate hain so if you have short of fingers accessing the levers is also going to be no problem at all after this let me talk about the biggest problem of this motorcycle and that is the gearbox it is so so clunky that i have absolutely hated it throughout my review experience it just doesn't shift smoothly yes agar aap bike tez chala rahe ho and you know subconsciously at that time you are going to be putting in a lot of effort while up shifting and down shifting it will do that without too much of a fuss but especially at low speeds when you know you want a nice and easy ride at that time this gearbox is not going to keep you happy now the service is due this bike is due for its first service and i think that with a better quality oil which is topped up which is refilled at the first service interval I think that the gearbox might start performing a little better but still it is far from ideal it is far from perfect is bike ke sath jo aapko slipper assist clutch diya gaya hai that also is not the lightest it could have been better than what it is right now KTM ke motorcycles pe jo slipper assist clutch aapko milta hai that feels much better than this particular unit over here but nevertheless it does a decent job and it is going to prevent rear wheel popping and locking when you are aggressive on your downshifts say for example jab aap ghat roads pe is bike ko chala rahe ho now let us talk about the braking hardware with this motorcycle aapko is bike ke sath dual channel abs system mil raha hai you cannot switch the abs off you do not get super moto abs so dual channel abs standard kit that is what you get that is what you have to live with you can't make any changes at all the braking performance as such is just about okay i wish that the brake lever had you know much better feel in the initial travel the brake bite could have been sharper lekin agar ye aapki pehli motorcycle hone wali hai the brakes are predictable and they will bring you to a halt nicely and safely zyada dar aapko nahi lagega Of course if you are a more experienced rider you would prefer a much sharper brake bite especially from the front brake Is bike ke sath aapko Michelin tires mil rahe hain and the tires are okay I think that the TVS Apache RR310 now comes with better Michelin tires than what this bike comes with The grip is acceptable on this motorcycle when you are riding it around city and when you are out on the highway cruising and touring lekin jab aap corners encounter karte ho aur jab aap is bike ko aggressively chala loge 
at that time there are times when you will be left wanting for more grip you would want your tires to you know give you that extra bit of confidence where these tires lack a little bit but then that is subjective and it depends on a lot of factors and primarily it depends upon you the rider if you like to ride aggressively or not if you are going to be a sedate rider these tires are going to offer you enough confidence it is not going to be too much of a problem at all of course they are tubeless tires you get alloy wheels so you don't have to worry about punctures you can you know fix it very quickly aapko tire bahar nikalne ki zarurat nahi hai now i showed you that this particular motorcycle can do serious triple digit speeds lekin jab aap ye bike tez chala loge say for example over 100 km per hour aapko wind blast jo hai wo mehsoos zarur hoga kyunki is bike ke sath aapko koi useful usable fly screen nahi mil rahi hai of course you can buy something from the aftermarket industry but bmw motorrad is not offering that to you bmw motorrad is not offering that to you in their accessories kit as well so this is what you get now let me talk about the ride by wire technology on this bike throttle response has become nice and crisp it is not you know too jerky too snappy and i have had no problems at all modulating the throttle on and off transition is also quite good so check this out you can get your hand off the throttle you know ease up a little on the saddle and then grab the accelerator again and it will not feel snatchy at all the fueling is also quite good and this bike by the way doesn't come with any kind of riding modes wo sirf aapko tvs ke apache rr 310 mein hi milte hain but i don't think i really need riding modes on this particular motorcycle or on a motorcycle of this class i have been happy and power delivery is nice and linear agar ye aapki pehli bike bhi hai aapko zyada dar nahi lagega it is not too explosive like the ktm 390 duke so this can be a very good beginner bike as well of course it is at the premium end if you are considering it as a beginner motorcycle but still a good bike nevertheless let me talk about the speedometer cluster as well kafi log ye complain kar rahe hain that in 2021 this looks old school and this is not all that great i have no problems it is very readable it is very easy to you know toggle data using this button over here and consuming all the information on the go is no problem at all now the thing is that the ktm 390 duke offers such a good looking unit that people compare both these bikes and start expecting such a unit on this bike as well but now you have to keep in mind that is bike ki kimat ab ktm ke 390 duke se kam kar di gayi hai ye bike bs4 model se kafi sasti ho chuki hai aur abhi aapko iske sath kafi sare features bhi mil rahe hain one more useful feature on this bike is automatic idle boost now tvs likes to call this technology gtt glide through technology bmw motorrad is calling it automatic idle boost what it basically does is that it allows the revs to climb if at all you are in a particular gear and if the engine is going to sense that it might stall it will not allow the bike to stall so check this out i am in sixth gear by the way and the engine is not stalling at all it is riding at 35 km per hour and as soon as i give it some throttle input there is a little bit of hesitation of course because that is not the ideal rev range where this bike should be ridden at at this particular gear but then it will start picking up pace to ye jo function hai ye aapko bumper to bumper traffic mein kafi kaam aayega especially in the initial gears in 1 2 3 that is going to be very useful because that is you know going to be your ideal gear when you are going to be commuting in city traffic and because of that feature aapko constant throttle modulation karne ki bhi zarurat nahi hai you can just release the clutch and the bike will just keep chugging along so that you can have your commuting duties performed effortlessly so a very useful feature for sure is bike ke sath ye jo mirrors aapko mil rahe hain the stocks are a little short i wish that they were a little longer and a little higher because i see a lot of my hands in the you know field of vision and although they do a decent job i think it could have been better for sure but they have been fit very nicely 
दे डोंट मूव अराउंड टू मच और ज़्यादा वाइब्रेशन भी आपको वहाँ पे फील नहीं होगा वेन यू आर रियली रिंगिंग द थ्रॉट एंड वेन यू आर रियली रिंगिंग द थ्रॉट बाई द वे दिस इंजन विल रेव very cleanly over 9500 rpm close to its 10000 rpm red line and at that time the exhaust note is going to be likable for those who like that raspy sound but then let me again tell you exhaust profile is not that great and there are vibrations also so if you are someone who likes to ride their bike hard and fast and stay higher up in the rev range just make peace with what this engine has to offer to you इस बाइक का जो कर्व वेट है इट हैज इंक्रीज बाय 5.5 पॉइंट फाइव के जीज दिस मोटरसाइकिल नाउ वे इज वन सिक्सटी फोर किलोग्राम्स प्रीवियसली इट यूज टू वे वन फिफ्टी एट पॉइंट फाइव किलोग्राम्स लेकिन ये जो वजन बढ़ चुका है इट इज नॉट सिग्निफिकेंट टू मेक यू अनकम्फर्टेबल एज अ राइडर चेक दिस आउट यू कैन स्विंग इट वेरी इजिली डायरेक्शन चेंज करने में आपको कोई भी दिक्कत नहीं होने वाली है एंड इवन इन पार्किंग सिचुएशन आप इस बाइक को काफी आसानी से मूव कर पाओगे धक्का दे पाओगे no problems at all it is a reasonably light motorcycle for you to own so if you are a young buyer and if you are a seasoned rider both of y'all should be happy with this G310R when you are riding this bike inside city limits and when you are changing directions quickly you are also going to like the weight balance of this motorcycle trellis chassis jo hai is bike ki it has been very well put together and the bike stays stable and balanced at high speeds at low speeds and it just feels nice and tight also is bike ka jo reverse inclined motor hai isko is tarike se design kiya gaya hai so that the center of gravity is more towards the front end so the bike does feel nice and communicative when you are playing around with it and because of that it just makes this G310R so much more enjoyable inside the city to flick it from left to right to zip through from traffic snarls you will have no problems at all because the bike overall is nice and it is compact and when i say compact agar aapki height 6 feet se zyada hai i would say that you should first go and get a test ride before you know putting in your money and booking this G310R so just check if this bike fits you just check if you feel happy and comfortable on the saddle and if possible try to get a nice long test ride before bringing this baby beamer home when you are going to be commuting around town with this BMW Motorrad G310R agar aap bahut der tak स्लो क्रॉलिंग ट्रैफिक स्पीड्स पे रहने वाले हो द इंजन टेम्परेचर इज गोइंग टू गो अब 100 हंड्रेड डिग्रीज राइट नाउ इट इज ड्रॉपिंग क्विकली बिकॉज वी हैव स्टार्टेड मूविंग बट अ फ्यू मोमेंट्स बैक जब मैं काफ़ी क्रॉलिंग सिचुएशन में था द टेम्परेचर वॉज वन हंड्रेड पॉइंट फाइव दैट इज वॉट आई नोटिस दैट इज द मैक्सिमम दैट आई नोटिस इट थ्रू आउट माई रिव्यू राइडिंग एक्सपीरियंस लेकिन ओवरऑल जो हीट मैनेजमेंट है it is good i have had no problems in terms of feeling the heat on my feet of course i am wearing proper riding boots and riding pants agar aap shorts pen ke ye bike chalaoge agar aap slippers pen ke ye bike chalaoge and especially in mumbai summers you are going to feel some amount of heat on your feet but then that is not how you should ride your motorcycle check it out now the engine temperature has dropped to 92.8 So when you're going to be cruising out on the highway I think that the engine temperature is going to be somewhere between 85 to 90 degrees. So guys wrapping things up about this BMW Motorrad G310R. Let me tell you that this bike now is what it should have been from day 1 from the time that it was launched here in the Indian market. At 2.5 lakh rupees ex showroom this bike now makes a lot of sense. इस बाइक के इंजन का परफॉर्मेंस एक्सेप्टेबल है इनसाइड द सिटी आउट ऑन द हाईवे इट इज़ क्वाइट फन एंड इवन फॉर योर टूरिंग रिक्वायरमेंट्स यू विल हैव नो प्रॉब्लम्स इट कैन कीप अप हाईवे स्पीड्स वेरी इजीली आफ्टर दैट द ओवरऑल पैकेज हैज इम्प्रूव सो मच दैट यू विल अप्रिशिएट इट यू आर गेटिंग राइट बाय वायर यू आर गेटिंग स्लीपर असिस्ट क्लच यू आर गेटिंग एडजस्टेबल लीवर्स यू आर गेटिंग ऑल एल लाइटिंग यू आर गेटिंग रिवाइज स्टाइलिंग विद मच शार्पर लुक्स 
and there is just so much more that this bike now offers to you at a lesser price tag that BMW Motorrad finally might have a winner and they might actually sell more of these bikes now than they managed so far but still if you want a more performance oriented motorcycle and a more affordable motorcycle just go and get the KTM 390 Duke because the after sales the spare part cost is just much cheaper than this BMW G310R although BMW Motorrad now claims that they have worked on the spares cost and this bike is now much easier and affordable to own than it used to be before so guys let me know in the comments below what is your opinion about this particular motorcycle do you think that in 2021 this bike makes sense to you kya aap ye bike kharidoge goodbye ride safe Always guys wear your helmets, try to wear proper riding gear at all times and just invest in a good set of gloves as well because if at times you are going to have a fall, you do tend to grab your fall and wearing good gloves is going to protect your hand and that is important. See you soon in another video, do press the bell icon so that you are notified the next time that we upload a video. Until next time, enjoy shifting years and enjoy the content that we already have uploaded for you. Bye-bye.